And welcome everyone to an NCAA.com March Madness NCAA Tournament Skype session here. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Virginia Tech's Justin Robinson. And big news for the Hokies. Justin is back, making that announcement over the weekend, missing 12 games with a foot injury, and he's coming back at the right time. Uh, you you know, he certainly drew a lot of attention with this announcement. How much were you anticipating being back for this moment for the NCAA tournament after missing a dozen games, including the ACC tournament? Um, it was a huge blessing to be able to meet with my family and the medical staff and my coaches and just be able to get the news that I was able to play. And just uh, was very excited. I think overall, just missing these last couple of games, well, not couple, the, the long stretch of games has been a... Uh, it's been hard, but, I mean, it's been a learning experience in the process, so I think I'm just ready to go. Yeah, I mean, we didn't know when you were going to come back. Uh, I'm curious, at any point, was there a point where you wondered, am I going to be able to play at some point this season? Um, No, I thought I was going to come back earlier than what I did, but uh, Coach Buzz and my mom and dad have handled everything the right way, I think, uh, just for the majority and what's going to happen in the future of my career and just – I think we've handled it the the best way possible. And I just want to build from what we did and what I learned in that process. So obviously you haven't played in games for that long, but how much you've been able to actually be in practice, have contact, and actually you know work out against your guys in sort of almost a live situation just in practice, not in a game? Yeah, just adding on to what I said about Coach Buzz handling everything well, uh, the process and progress that I've been able to go through and everything that has happened has been good. So I think that's what led to the decision of being able to conclude that I was able to play along with the pictures that we took. So I think just having the support system of my coach, my family, and my, my good trainer, Eddie Binion, has been a fantastic journey for me and just something that I've been able to do in a good aspect. And I think just being able to do more throughout the things of practicing, practicing more at the ACC tournament, and just being able to feel like I was ready to go was big. All right, so in your matchup, you guys are a four seed, taking on St. Louis. Uh, what kind of impact do you think you can have when you step out on the court later this week? Um, hopefully a good one. My team's been in a good groove. We got in a, a groove playing without me, but hopefully I can just be able to sprinkle back in and put some positive touches to us and just get us over the hump that we weren't able to get over. And I think the matchup with St. Louis is kind of a big one for us since they knocked us off at MSG uh, last year. I just think it's something that, we're going to take as a, a big test for us to just try to get revenge. So where on the floor do you think you can contribute that might have been missing during your absence? Um, I think just giving guys normal roles that they had while I was playing. For example, uh, to be able to move Nikhil more off the ball, more for him to play his, I wouldn't say natural position of being a elite scorer, but just being able to hit him in the right spots. And also with Ty and Ahmed, uh, when I was playing, they were at the top of our conference in three-point percentage. Then they had to find other ways to get their shots and just continue to feed the ball in the post to KJ because he's playing phenomenal. I just think to have everybody in the same mindset and having them be able to gain confidence while I was out is just going to only help when I get back. Look, I know no one likes to look ahead, but we cannot dismiss the fact that if things play out, and I know it's a long way away here, even though it's just next week, but if you are fortunate to advance – to a Sweet 16 matchup with Duke, a team you weren't able to go against, but your team beat yeah. earlier this season. What would that mean to you to get another shot at Duke uh, if that all happens since you weren't able to play the last time you guys played them and beat them? Yeah, obviously we got to worry about the first two rounds. Those will be difficult. But yes. if the things do turn out well, I think it'll be good for us. We'll be playing in D.C. It'll be kind of close to home. The Hokie fans will fill up the arena. I just think the matchup of us being able to be at full strength and then being at full strength is kind of what everybody – isn't anticipating, but hopefully we make it that far and that that matchup is able to happen. So what was that like, though, for you, Justin, to watch this big-time event, big-time game? Duke comes into Blacksburg, and they win, but you're not able to contribute. Um, Like I said, it was hard to sit out. Uh, I tried everything I could to do things on and off the court that I wasn't able or willing to do without a uniform, if that makes sense in any way. Uh, I just tried to be the best leader I could be. And just being there for them through the, the big games, through the tough times and the good times, I mean, it was hard to watch on the sideline being anti to play. But obviously it felt amazing beating them at home in front of the crowd and just getting the win that we needed 
I think overall there was a couple of games like playing against UVA at home or Duke at home where I couldn't play or in certain games where I thought I could have added something that would have helped us win. But I think it's just all a learning process that I've been able to go through, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of it. All right, last thing, Justin. We've seen the way guys have come back from injury. Zion comes back, and he's the ACC most outstanding player. Nick Ward comes back, and Michigan State you know, ends up uh, winning the Big Ten tournament. Uh, what's going to happen when you come back? Uh, hopefully we can go on a big run, and I can just positively impact our team to go on the deep run that we're, uh, that we're praying for. And I just hope I'm able to do everything I did before I got injured and just have us uh, back at a top-ten team in the country. Appreciate it, Justin. Glad you're back for the tournament. Thank you.